Hey guys, it's Bethany, your crafty BFF, and today I am on with entry number 26 into the spring tote swap that I'm hosting. This entry comes from Miss Lisa, who is at lisa.baracco.3 on Instagram. She has made two to swap and so very generously made me one as well. So we will go through this and see what she has created. I, it, I really thank you for making me one. Definitely not required, but always appreciated. This one has a little note to me, and she included her return shipping. So thank you for that. I will mark that down. And I am sure that this will cover it. So thank you, Lisa. Um, but I'll let you know if it doesn't. I, I use pirate ship, so it should, uh, the $13 should be plenty. Um, let me get some of this shred out. And we will take a look at this beautiful tote. So for this swap, you had to follow this tutorial to make this simple tote with gusseted pockets. Um, you could make one and get one or make two and get two back. Uh, you had to decorate one of the front pockets, uh, make a springtime shaker, four butterfly embellishments, six layered flowers, an A2 handmade card, a crafter's choice item, a sweet treat, and three trim samples um, that were 18 inches at least and it looks like she has loaded this baby with more than that so we'll take a look um what i've been doing is going through the pockets first saving the tag oh and and you had to um, do a tag flip with um at least five tags three layers each and so um i totally forgot to write that one down <laughs> oops that was like the main part of it but here in this uh front pocket uh, we have these two adorable flower pot shakers. Um, so it looks like she has made not one, but two shakers for us. So thank you so much. These are absolutely adorable. So, so cute. Love the flowers. I love the little one is in a blue glitter. One is in a pink glitter. And then she's got a little bee cabochon on this one and a little yellow ladybug on this one. So cute. Thank you. In the side pocket, we have our sweet treat, which she has uh, given some original Skittles. They, I love some Skittles. They are so good. Thank you for those. In this other side pocket, we've got perhaps her crafter's choice item or maybe an extra i'm not sure but we will see so cute we've got a beaded pin in blue with a cute little pink tassel um dangle on top gotta love that love it love it love it thank you so much so pretty i love this bead down here the multicolored uh uh iridescent type bead so cute she's used the beautiful spacers in between each bead and then like i said has this tassel here on the top she's also gifted this beautiful sequins mix and she's put it in like this little bubble uh you know it's like one of those bubble containers from the dollar tree and she's tied all these pretty trims to the top for some added interest so cute there is a little ooh, oh no you didn't there are two dies in here oh my gosh lisa thank you so much these are little flower dies look how cute so there's this one here uh, you can cut these out and layer them up and make a beautiful little flower and then there's this one here that'll make even tinier flowers with a little um, 
hole in the center of the petals. So cute. Thank you. I see you've gifted your partners that as well. I'm sure they will be appreciative. A nice little extra gift. So kind of you. In the back pocket, we've got her trim samples. She has gifted four of them. We've got this yellow scalloped ribbed ribbon. We've got this um, blue, like a minty blue organza. We've got this really cute, uh, like buffalo check yellow pattern with the little yellow pom poms on each side of it. And then we've got this lovely pink pom pom trim at the bottom. Thank you. Thank you. Those are so cute. I especially love this one. It's very different. I don't have anything like that in my stash. Also in the back pocket, she has created some lovely little bows. So maybe this is her crafter's choice. Because bows were not a part of the requirements. But as per usual, Lisa goes above and beyond. And um, spoils her swap partners and me. So thank you, thank you. These are so pretty. This is like a heart bow. This is a double layered bow with a really pretty tail. We've got this scalloped yellow bow, and then we've got these tiny bows that they go from a larger size to a, an itty bitty size. I love little bitty bows, so thank you. I like the center, the little flower stamen centers that you used on those. That's really a good idea. Might have to scrap lift that. And now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of the um of the tote. And here we've got three of her butterfly embellishments. I love how you guys have been doing different butterflies. Um, so we have this one here that has these layers these layers of wings that we can pop up to give it dimension so cute and then look at this one so so pretty she has layered the uh some pattern paper gold foil more pattern paper a pink a pink glitter cardstock some uh cheesecloth and some of that fun pink netting that we love to layer with and then she's done a double bow with gold foil and pattern paper in the center with the little body of course in the middle and then we've got this one here where she's done the same thing so so fun so fun love love these layered butterfly embellishments thank you so much for those and you only had to make four, but it looks like she's made a total of six because we have these little embellishments as well. Let me open these up. These are more simple, but still beautiful. This one is in a glitter cardstock. This one's got a pink shimmer layer and a cardstock layer and a gold foil layer. Love that. And then we've got this one that has the three layers that you can fluff up, and she's cut it out of this beautiful pink glitter cardstock and has the gold foil body so pretty that is stunning i love the the shimmer that glitter cardstock gives let's see next up are her flowers it looks like she, you only had to make six and she's made more than that look at these how fun are these okay so Th these are layered so she's got a glitter cardstock layer and then this pink cardstock on top and then she's used a little flower center in a pink glitter cardstock and she's layered them up it looks like they're very like she's used some foam tape in the center so they're dimensional how fun is that i love these these are so cute and dainty then we have these blue numbers here with the yellow centers so pretty great job on your flowers and like i said that that would have done it but lisa goes above and beyond and she's also gifted these three purple little dainty flowers these three dandelion type flowers 
and these two pink ones with the gold glitter centers uh, above and beyond lady above and beyond she's even uh, cut out this little bag topper for them so we'll keep those together and she's got her information there she's using the little handmade with love stickers that she purchased from me so i'm so excited to see you using them love it love it let's see what else have you done oh friend oh friend so she has gifted this is a total extra goodie definitely not required but she has gifted some of this beautiful yellow snow tool she's gifted some of this red glitter snow tool i've never seen a red glittery snow tool i've never seen any snow tool that's both glittery and snow you know what i'm saying how pretty is that oh that'll be perfect for some summer crafting thank you we've got some white cheesecloth which is so so fun to layer with she sent me a bunch of different colors of this and i've been using it on a lot of projects so thank you for the white that'll come in handy and then she has also sent this which is my favorite thing to layer with right now it's this pink netting so so much fun thank you for sharing with me i really appreciate it i'm actually running really low so that comes in handy for sure what else look it, it just keeps going guys we've also got her this is what one of the requirements it was the a2 handmade greeting card let's take a look at this i love this these little baggies that she's got she's using i have some of them in my stash as well they're fun to package things with but look how cute this is so she's um matted this card with this really fun uh pattern paper i think it, this must be a cartabella collection that's what the paper feels like and then she's used this banner sticker here popped it up on some foam and added these yellow faceted jimmies on the top we've got this little bike bicycle here it says sunny days and then she's used this really fun um scalloped die cut here on the bottom I love the layers so cute so so cute and of course it's blank so I can use it so thank you I'll definitely use that to send out some happy mail one less card I have to make myself I appreciate that because I am not a card maker we've got eat some more bows see I'm telling you this lady just keeps giving and keeps giving she's so generous so she's gifted these two bows this one cut out of this really fun floral pattern paper it's got all kinds of doily edges man that would be that would be um i don't think i'd like to die cut this one because it's got so many itty bitty pieces you'd have to poke out but <laughs> thank you for doing that it's extra beautiful and then we have this one here this is the this is my favorite bow that i have right now in my stash anyways and it's it's the angel wing bow from ks craft i love this blue cardstock with the dainty little daisies on it how cute is that thank you thank you and last but not least we have her tag flip let's take a look at it it looks beautiful she's used just a simple uh folded over doily for a bag topper we love an easy bag topper they don't all have to be extravagant right let's get this out she's got a whole bunch of fun trims here uh, tied to the ring we've got this yellow rick rack we've got this fun loop-de-loop -loop blue and white number We've got this braided um, purple cord, like a, it feels like a chenille, uh, like a chenille cotton kind of uh, 
braided cord and then we have this one this is really fun look how cute that is i love all the pastel colors and it, they're like little tassels almost so cute we've got this pink and white candy stripe we've got this blue organza and I, that looks like it so very nice love a nice trim tassel tied to a to a tag slip We've got this little tag here, very simple, but she's um, layered it up. It's nice and sturdy, and then she has used some, like, uh, stickles there on the yellow flowers to give it some added interest, and then added this cute little heart button. We've got this tag here where she's added this window, cardstock window sticker on some foam, prop, propped it up, and then added these little flowers here on the side very cute we've got this one here where she's used a pink die cut doily some of that lovely cheesecloth to give that texture i love some texture we've got this um cardstock sticker popped up on some foam and this he hello cut out in a gold foil very pretty It over the next one we've got the summer blooms back of the pickup truck she's used some white cheesecloth and this really fun purple die cut layering die cut behind there to give it some added texture and then we've got this felt purple flower here with the yellow faceted jimmy in the center very cute and then last but not least, we've got this big scalloped tag with the doily in the background. We've got some of this fun pink layering netting that we love to use. We've got a gold foil die cut in the back. And then she's layered up these two butterfly die cuts, one in a patterned paper and one in this yellow glitter. So pretty. She's even added these three yellow enamel dots down at the bottom. And it's very cute. Very, very cute. Great job on your tag flip. Great job on all of your swap. Very generous. Thank you so much for all the extra goodies. I'm sure your swap partners will enjoy them as well. Thank you for participating, Lisa. I'll, I'll uh, enjoy having you here. And if you guys at home, watching at home have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And I will get back to you. And other than that, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much. Bye.